is not as simple as those less savvy might think. The new owner, however, will have something that previous tenants did not. The benefit of Penny's particular prowess. Her assistance will make all the difference, I should think, in both getting the shot ready for business and ensuring its success. The shop seems to be in an ideal location. Why has no one purchased it yet? It is indeed. But I've just decided to sell. I've grown weary of being a landlady. My late husband was the one with a passion for shopkeeping and business in general. You'd be wise to take advantage of this opportunity before the offers start rolling in. What precisely do you mean, should my efforts fail? Honestly, I only mean that if for some reason you're unable to keep the shop going, I could help you cut your losses. That's all. But, as you've implied, the odds of that happening are remote. It does sound intriguing, but I need to consider my finances first. I'll come and find you if I'm interested. Very well. But I won't be able to keep the shop available for too long. If you do want the shop, I'd advise you to return to me as soon as possible. Madam Mason, about the shop. Yes? I've decided I'd like to go ahead and purchase the shop. I have to say I'm impressed. You are a remarkably resourceful student. I am indeed. And brave. You won't be sorry. Give me the money and I shall get the paperwork filed immediately. Wonderful. Shall I head directly to the shop? Please do. Oh, one more thing. Since my husband died, I've not been able to bring myself to retrieve some of his personal items. They're in a chest at the back of the shop. Penny has the key. As you get organised, I would be terribly grateful if you could help an old widow and gather his things for me before you open for business. I wish you the very best of luck in your endeavours. Penny will meet you there. Well, I've done it, Penny. The shop is mine. Oh, Penny is so pleased. Penny was hoping you would be the one to purchase it. I'm glad you're here to help me. Goodness, what a kind thing to say. Penny will do all that she can to make this a success. There is much to do. The last tenant left in a bit of a rush, so we'll need to clean up and do some repairs. Wonderful. I can only imagine what we might find in there. It is most certainly nothing that you and Penny can't handle together. Shall we? Between the two of us, we should have this place up and running in no time.
Repair her. Oh, Penny can already see the potential. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of hard work. Mistress Mason wanted Penny to be sure and give you this key. It opens a chest in the back room of this shop. Oh yes, she mentioned it to me. It contains some of her late husband's belongings. Penny wonders if you should open the chest. <sighs> Are you holding your breath again? <sighs> Penny must get back to work now. Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. That's odd. Why would someone store one hat in here? That's not very hospitable. Oh, goody! Someone to play Lewis. with! You seem to have your wits about you. What fun this will be! For me, at least. That's new. Onwards, I suppose. Who's there? Revelio.
Lumos. Bats. Lovely. Seems as if I should hang something there. Revelio. Revelio. These lanterns must belong somewhere. Revelio. Perhaps the lanterns are meant to be hung on the hands. Accio! Wingardium Leviosa! How enlightening! Hmm, you might survive a bit longer than the others. Lumos. Oh, you've come so far, so quickly. Well done. You might be just the playmate I've been looking for. I do hope you enjoy my playground. I encourage you to tell everyone about it. If you make it out, that is. Please try. If you get to the end, perhaps we can come to some sort of arrangement. I do want your shop to succeed, after all. What's the saying? Two times every storm. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, both sides are to my story. And you'll have to complete both to get to the end. Revelio. Ah, you've chosen the scholarly Lumos. You'll need more than you've learned from books to best me. Revelio. Revelio. It's always good to have a different perspective. Ah! 
here. Wingardium Leviosa. Guardian Leviosa. So much fun to be had. My head is spinning. Lumos. Revelio. Bombarda. Revelio. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Perhaps I should pull the lantern into this room to cause the room to rotate again. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio.
Lumos. Revelio. Lumos. What was that? Lumos. 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 Lumos.
Expelliarmus! Lumos! Lumos! Revelio! Lumos! Home sweet toe. Accio! Wingardium Leviosa! Revelio. I simply adore this blooming place. Don't you? Rebellion! The foliage, like most living things, won't survive for long in the darkness. Incendio! I wonder if I need to place lanterns to open these doors. Revelio. Guardian Leviosa. Revelio. What's this? A game within a game? Ooh, ooh! Night to H3. Nighty night! <laughs> Revelio. 
Oh, oh goodness! <laughs> I do hope you're having as much fun as me. I think I'll keep you around a bit longer. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Oh, I'm afraid of the dark! Akio! Doesn't worry that Leviosa. I can see you, but you can't see me. It should. Revelio! I'd offer you a seat, but I'm rearranging the furniture. But I don't want to be getting too comfortable for what's in store, do I? Bombarda! Revelio. Revelio. Depulsor. Accio. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Ah, a worthy playmate. Well done, me. Potato. Levioso.
Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Finally, you 
my inordinately clever friend appear to have traversed this seemingly never-ending dungeon relatively unscathed. And now I suppose you'll want to go. Everyone leaves me, usually in a straitjacket, never to return. I'm starting to take it personally. I'm tired of having no one to play with. Ooh. Ooh. Tell you what, I'll make you a deal. If you can match wits with me now and agree to give me unfettered access to the shop for, say, one day a month to have a little fun, I'll sign a contract. Pursuant to which, um, uh, let me see, I will blah, 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 blah. Oh, yes, uh, leave you and your customers alone at all other times, etc., etc. <laughs> you get to shop, I get my chaos. Sound acceptable? Excellent! <laughs> Let the games begin! Cactus, cat, cat!
someone deserving of the playground I so meticulously crafted. Such a treat to have fun again in my little dungeon. I must say, I enjoy a good challenge. Ah, a kindred, dare I say, spirit. So, about the contract... I am a poltergeist of my word. Why would you enter into such an agreement? Much as I love banging about the place, it's no comparison to seeing customers' faces when I bonk them on the heads with a chocolate frog. One doesn't really understand the value of an audience until one is without it. Just to be clear, what does this agreement entail, specifically? Ugh, pay attention. You guarantee that I can have my fun at least one day each month without fuss. I let you work the rest of the time, mostly, in peace. Very well. I shall agree to your contract with one small addendum. Hooray! No more of this unsatisfying banging about all day in a pitiful void. Wait, did you say one small addendum? I did. In order that I have a successful shop with lots of customers, would you agree to causing chaos only after nine o'clock in the evening? Hmm. Hmm. Would you agree to at least two days a month instead of one? I would. Pleasure doing business with you. You've worn me out. Oh, well done. I had a feeling about you. I have to admit, Cassandra did a wonderful job finding the perfect playmate.